G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Water with Mags and welcome back aboard the Collins class diesel electric attack submarine of the Royal Australian Navy and we are back in the South China Sea and actually in the South China Sea this time. So we are on to our next mission. Just going to do a quick target ID. It's not a car. Huh? It's definitely military because it's ping. Con sonar new contact bearing Luhu's three looking four possible. five designated Sierra two. Actually, we should probably change our depth conditions. We have no layout. That's unfortunate. Go to 150 feet so we can get the total ray out. I'll make this a little bit easier and see what else is here. So we are on mission at the moment. We are. We are in the South China Sea defending Scarborough Shoal against a force, a landing force, that is supposed to be heading in from Qingdao. We've managed to get back to Guam and resupply, which is good. We've got a full load of torpedoes on board. We're ready to rock and roll. And we've managed to get into position before anything comes down. And I think we may have actually caught the fleet. It's just a matter of actually IDing it. That one is being difficult. Yeah, I reckon that's it, Con which means this is definitely Sierra our two group. Is classified as merchant. All right. <clears throat> Con sonar new contact bearing three two one. Contact. Designated Sierra three. Con dive at one five zero feet dive by. Yeah, the total ray is going to make life much easier. Con sonar new contact bearing three five seven designated Sierra five. That's close. Con sonar new contact bearing three four nine designated Sierra six. Yeah, I'll six. go with that. Con sonar new contact bearing three five one designated Sierra I reckon seven. That's you can. Sorry, you ting. Con sonar Sierra five is classified That's as That's not. Urgent. That is. This is Con definitely the landing force. Sierra We've managed to get in our first shot, which is urgent. nice. So it's just a matter of identifying if we've got any civilians in the area, whether or not we've got any, and what escorts we have. Con sonar Sierra Four is classified as merchant. I'm not sure about that one. It's a fairly sizable fleet here. And it is quite noisy at the moment. It's 108 decibels in the water, which is why we're not getting the contacts as clearly as I would like. Lots, no, th no layers, no ducks, but a lot of surface noise. So I guess that would imply stormy conditions above. Yeah, I'm going to call that another landing. Ah, damn it. Con sonar yeah, call Sierra that for another seven landing is ship. classified as merchant. I'm tempted to pop scope. Mm, no, not with these two escorts here. Once the escorts are taken out, so it looks like three U four U-tings. This one I'm not sure about. That's the one I want to pop scope on. It's reading as a merchant. I'm not convinced it is. It could be an escort. It's heading in the same direction. It's not moving against anything Con else. Sonar regained contact on Sierra One, bearing zero two four. Uh, Luhu's back, and it is definitely a target. So, so that's seven point three. Torpedo one away. Shoot two 
one, I sir. Shoot two, two. two away. I sir. So opposite directions on these two torpedoes. This one's the major concern. Sierra 3 is so close, it might hear the torpedo sooner. I'm actually gonna try and keep the torpedo 90 degrees to the direction of travel of Sierra 3, just so it doesn't close too quickly Con, until I've got the torpedo away. Bearing. Three, four, four. Designated Sierra right, we have 8. Sierra 8 to identify. Now, this is likely another escort. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, five, five. Designated Sierra 9. Oh, that's really clear. Con sonar. That's Sierra really clear. Is classified as escort. Con sonar. Oh, Sierra nine is classified as merchant. Alright, so once we've gotten these torpedoes, torpedo one, we can actually probably turn. And start closing in on the Luhu. Once torpedo two has crossed the heading, we can change direction here slightly. Of Sierra three, I'm going to turn it north. And once these two torpedoes have engaged these two escorts, I'm going to fire two more that will be heading for uh, the Utings and the Yukans, which are our landing ships. These are our primary target. Everything else doesn't really matter. I just want to get these escorts out of the way so I have a clear shot at them. Con, it looks sonar. like Sierra, Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. Sierra 4 has been reclassified. And it is hostile. Torpedo 2 has gone active. Torpedo 1 is still heading to waypoint, still heading for Sierra 1, which is moving away. The Chengdu seems to have no idea what's going on, so it's time for us to get more torpedoes out. Shoot 2 3. Aye, tube sir. 3 is away. Shoot 2 4. And tube Aye, 4 sir. is away. So that's all of our wires out. Track is good. Con sonar lost contact. First warship's Sierra out. Alright, they Last know they're under attack two, now. Eight, three. Contact breaking up. Reloading tube two. I need another torpedo. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Both torpedoes heading in the same uh, heading that way. Luhu's being tracked, which is good because that's their next threat. Sierra 9 is confirmed as a trawler, so we only have one more escort up here, which is on the other side of the pack we're attacking, which is not a concern. Now, they're probably going to turn towards Sierra 8 to run. Actually, we might waypoint these closer. Set them surface running. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing three, six, zero. Sierra One's reacting to the attack. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. I Con, might. torpedo room, tube two ready. Yeah, we have helicopters in the air. The Luhu 
Yeah, it's got a helicopter deck. Yeah, Con I want to make sure it's Noise maker bearing three, it has five, to go. six. Alright, torpedoes lost track. So let's give it a little bit of manual assistance here. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Yeah, back on target. Main reason I want it gone is to start cutting down on the number of helicopters. It's why it needs to be primaried. And Con, boom! Who is now out of Sierra, play? One, last That's bearing, second sonar three, array out of, three, well, out of play as well. Up. Reload on tube one. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. Tube two is in the water and set to surface tracking. Looks like we're actually going to go north Con, this fire one. Control, weapon acquired. Three is probably going to acquire there, so I'm actually going to turn four Con, off. Fire control, weapon acquired. Four can go for the UCAN. Oh, sorry, three can go for the UCAN. We're going to send torpedo four north, and we're going to go for the Kong Sha. We still have a missile loaded as well. So we can actually engage with missiles on these two once we've got torpedoes. Once once the uh, the range has increased to the point where torpedoes are no longer practical, we're carrying one missile in the tubes, and we've got two more reloads for our anti-ship missiles. Con torpedo room two point right, ready. Four is tracking Hongsha. Chengdu is heading south, which is not surprising. Torpedo 1 is ready. Shoot 2 1. Aye, sir. And 4 just picked up the countermeasures dropped by Sierra 1. So we're going to have to. Actually, it might be trying to acquire the wreck of Sierra 1, which is. Stop that. That should fix it. <clears throat> It'll find what we're after. No, it's... It just... It really wants to go that way. I'm going to have to manually guide four. What the hell is going on? Four's really getting thrown here. There we go. Four appears to be reacquired on Kongsha. It is set to surface run. Con sonar lost contact. Whoa. Zero, two, last bearing, three, one, eight. All right, Yukan is up. down. Yeah, tracking on Kwong Sha. So we got to get Sierra 5 and Sierra 6 are our main targets here. Looking at the distances. Funny as this seems, we're going to have to cross over these two because two's closer and Sierra Six is further out. So it's better to send Torpedo One towards Sierra Five. Although we're getting very close to missile ranges here. How far is Sierra Eight away? It's eleven point eight kilo yards. Contact breaking up. Alright, so after doing a little bit of searching here, Torpedo 2 appears to be on a track, although we're not entirely sure for what. I'm assuming it's tracking Sierra 5 at the moment. Torpedo 1 was running into massive issues with the UCAN, so what I'm going to do is I'm sending Torpedo 1 around. We're going to try and pick up Sierra 8, and then I'm going to try and hit the last two with missiles. So actually going to bring it to periscope depth now. Make depth 4, 4, feet dive by. Main reason for doing that is so we can pop the radar, because at this point we should be safe enough to pop, get a quick look at what's going on, 
I'm actually going to load another missile, get two missiles up and away, heading out for these last two ships. Once we've got them identified on radar, then we can pull the radar back down, dive and evade. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, yep. one, Sierra zero. Sierra 8's definitely been collected. I'm not sure what the hell 2 is going for. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra it was going five, for Sierra 5. That bearing, was a lot three, further out three, than I was expecting. One, contact breaking up. Torpedo 1 tracking. So, current depth, 50 feet. Once Sierra 8 is out of play, which should... Con, sonar, noisemaker, bearing, 3, 1... Zero. Con, dive at four, four, Manual eight, control dive of the by. torpedo. Con, sonar, lost contact. Impact on the stern. Sierra eight, last bearing. Three, Sarah one, eight is zero. out. Contact breaking up. All right. Raise the radar. Popping mass. radar mast. Now this is risky, but worth it considering the situation. All right, M six. We've got these two. Missile away. Yes, Shoot two five. Missile Aye, away. Lower Radar radio down. Mass. Set depth seven hundred feet. Seven zero zero feet. Die by. And this is to quickly end this because the torpedoes. We're starting to get to the point now where the torpedoes will run out of range before they can actually intercept these two. See a little tweak out on the missile here. Actually, it looks like it's already acquired, so that's not an issue. Con sonar lost one contact. Down. Master six, last bearing three, two, one. Contact breaking up. And second missile should be about to impact. Con sonar lost contact. Master seven, last bearing three, two, six. There contact we have breaking it. Up. Alright, so the surface fleet has been completely annihilated here, but I have a sneaking suspicion that there is a submarine hidden in here somewhere as well. So, Torpedo 1 is prepared. We're actually going to go active and see if we can find anything. Con sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar, new contact bearing 2, 4, 8, designated Sierra 1, 0. Right. What have we got? Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra One Zero. We have a Romeo. Con sonar, I think. Sierra One Zero is classified as submerged submarine. Sneaky shit. That's what we have. We have a sneaky shit. Con sonar, switching the passive. Retract toad array, ready for maneuvers. We have got a torpedo in the water. Con sonar lost Nothing contact. Location. Master nine. Last bearing zero three eight. Contact faded. All right, trawler is away, but that's not our concern. That's probably why our torpedoes were going all messy before, and they were churning all over the place. They were picking up the Romeo in the middle of the group, while they were trying to actually track down our landing craft, and it was throwing them off. It was acting like a countermeasure in the water. Especially when we were using active sonar. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Alright, looks like we've got... There. Just there, so it hasn't moved far. Con, sonar, regained contact on. Sierra, one, zero, bearing, two, four, four. Another torpedo launch, so we're going to have to run. Change depth again, I'm assuming it has my depth. What Make is depth our nine, depth under zero, kill? Zero feet, We're fine. We're gonna go to a thousand feet so we can run flank. Depth one, zero, zero, zero feet, dive by. 
Torpedo tracking, countermeasures are deployed. Still far enough away with the noise in the water and the storm above us that we can't see where this Romeo is, but we have pulled the towed array at the moment. It was only the active that allowed us to detect it in the first place, so this isn't super surprising. But our torpedo can see the target, so that's fine. Looks like it's tracking through countermeasures, no problems. Con sonar lost Impact. contact. Sierra one zero. Last bearing two four four. Contact breaking up. All right. So after action report for the Rankin, we got a Luhu, two Chengdaos, a Kuangsha, a Yuken, three Yutings, and the Romeo. Thirty thousand and sixty tons in a single engagement. We have 10 Mark 48s remaining after the resupply, but we've only got one 84 harpoon, so one anti-ship missile remaining. 56,180 experience points for that one. So no, no crew proficiency increase, though, which is kind of surprising. Great job. Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Scarborough Shoal, South China Sea, has been repelled. Await further orders. All right, so what are they going to give us next? Other than a medal... We get the Bronze Star for Commander Hugh Jass, Commanding Officer of the HMAS Rankin S-78. Commander Hugh Jass is cited for extraordinary heroism in actions against the enemies of the United States of America. Yeah, it's a mod. 2nd of October 2000, an unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Okay. News report time. Junk sunk. Scarborough Shoals, South China Sea, a massive coordinated Chinese sea-based landing has been repelled. The DoD spokesman says that a combination of hard fighting by defending troops and prior significant weakening of invasion forces of the uh, US naval units contributed to averting disaster and defeat. According to an analyst, the ability for the US to contain enemy and prevent opposing, uh, opening new fronts will be a major factor in the outcome of the war, only keeping the front line focused on a few territories... Will the Western Allies have any hope of success? Okay, so pretty standard news report for this one. New mission orders. Intelligence indicates Russians are increasing their support for the PRC by covertly sending submarines to reinforce the Chinese. Intel further believes a squadron of nuclear attack submarines, most likely including Victor and Akula class submarines, will attempt to transit the Sea of Japan and deploy to Scarborough Shoal west of the Philippines to disrupt friendly operations in the area. The presence of these boats in the operating area would significantly alter the threat picture and we therefore have to sink these boats before they can reach their destination. Oh boy, I've been waiting for some more interesting subs. A coolers will be a hell of a lot of fun, but that will have to be in the next video. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed this one and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning next week as always. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more. And until then, take care. <laughs>